Oof. After a detour, I'm heading inland to a dairy farm and to a landscape quite different from what I've seen in Cornwall so far. Uh, and I arrive in an agricultural scene where the fields are marked by windblown trees and by rough made walls whose boulders have tumbled down. I think it would have looked not much different in the 18th and 19th century. This is a part of Cornwall I've been longing to visit. With its lush grassland that makes for excellent dairy farming and supplies some of the nation's favorite Cornish produce, clotted cream and ice cream. I'm visiting a family farm that's made its living off this land for more than 60 years. Hello, Toby. Good morning there, Michael. <laughs> wow, these are very, very young. Yes. Uh, how old yeah. are these? Uh, they're just a few weeks old, really. Um, we try and carve all the cows early on in the year so that they're ready to milk for the summer, really. Oh, they're very cute. And uh, what, what breed are they? Uh, they're jerseys, little jersey Lovely calves. Lovely brown colour. Indeed, yeah. The farm seems to be a farm plus, plus, plus. You seem to have all <laughs> sorts of things going on here. My mum used to make clotted cream, and then we branched out into um, ice cream. It sort of kept on growing and growing, really. <laughs> Um, are you able to tear yourself away from the calves? Yes, yeah, certainly. I'll jump lovely. over them. All right, yeah. thank you. Oh, <laughs> you've done that before, I think. <laughs> Once or twice, yeah. From those humble beginnings on Toby's mum's kitchen table, the farm now makes over 400,000 litres of ice cream a year. But the production line is still surprisingly hands-on. So, uh... Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Looks like this is all on a family scale, then. We make so many different flavours of ice cream, we're better off just filling them all by hand, really. Because we make organic ice cream and we make conventional ice cream and we can do vegan ice cream. Is it really quite a big part of the business now, the ice cream making? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, it literally turns over about 10 times as much as the dairy farm does, right. but it uses all the milk from our dairy farm. Would you like to have a go at filling some pots? Yeah, I would uh, I'd like to have a go at that. Tom is making it look quite easy there, but it's actually a little harder than you think. The hopping across to the next yes, one is the difficult is the, bit. The difficult bit, yeah. Comes very, very fast, doesn't it? Pretty yeah, much that'll full. do, and now hop across. Oh. Well, there we go. It's one of these jobs. Once you've done it quite a few times, you kind of get the hang of it. You're doing really well there, actually, yeah. Filling up and the sides And then you can do a zigzag, zigzag on the end. Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're looking professional at this already. Uh, Look at that. Low. So this one is caramel crunch that we're making at the moment. Oh, okay. how delicious. It's one of these processes that never stops. Like the Sorcerer's Apprentice, you're rushing <laughs> to right. keep up with it. <laughs> oh! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Is all this milk from your own farm? Oh, yes, yeah. We pipe the uh, milk up to here. We then actually separate it to concentrate the skim milk. So it means we don't buy in any skim milk powder or any cream. It's all our own milk that goes into it. That is very nice. So you can be absolutely sure about the origin of all of this. Exactly, yes, yeah. Tom, <laughs> now I've shown you the ropes you can take over. Thank you very, very much. Marvellous. Toby's farm covers 200 acres and runs right down to the coast, towards which I'm now headed to help move the dairy herd to fresh pastures. <laughs> 